Hi guys, welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to see some basic command line programs that allow you to do some file management. Now there are a lot of commands uh, that can be used to do file management, but I'm going to stick with the basics and for each command, I'm not going to go totally deep into that command, giving you all the flags that that particular command has. I'm just going to give you the basics, the things that you need to do basic file management. So we are going to learn about how to create a new directory. We are going to see how to copy uh, files, how to move files, how to delete files and how to create new file. So that's what we are going to do. So now let's move over to my desktop here and let's open a terminal. And what we will do first, we will learn about the make directory command where you want to create a new folder. It is MKDIR for make directory MKDIR command lets you create a directory. Now if you simply give the name of a directory, for example, if I give test, then it will create a directory called as test in that particular directory wherever I am. So if I do PWD, that will give me the location where I am on. So let's uh, just make this a little bit bigger. So it gives me that I am in slash home slash JR and MKDAR test creates a directory called test in slash home slash JR. So if I do an LS here, so this is my home directory. So it has a lot of stuff going on here and you can see here there is a test directory. So MKDAR can create a directory in the in the folder path in the path that you are on or what you can do is let me CD out of this let me clear clear the screen or you can mention a particular path you can mention a particular path to where that directory has to be created. So MKDAR and if I give the tilde symbol for my home directory then slash the test directory that we created and then I create a new directory inside called as test1. Enter. Now this directory that I created, the test1 directory will be created inside the test directory that we created earlier. So you can simply give a name of a directory to create the directory in the path that you are now or you can mention the full path so that it creates a directory in the specified path. So that is what this MKDIR command does. Now I am playing around in my home directory. So I am not using the sudo command. But if you want to create a, a file in the, in the root directory and not in your home directory, then make sure that you give the sudo command. So sudo MKDIR and then the location and the name of the directory that you want to create. So that is that's um, pretty much what the MKDIR command does. It has a lot of flags. We are not going to go into all that. If you are interested in knowing about all the options that it does, you can do man MKDIR and you can see it has some flags. Not a lot of flags, but it has some flags. Now let's quit out of that. Let's clear the screen. So now we learned how to create a new directory. Now what about creating a new file? So at sometimes you may want to create a blank text file or something. You may want to create a file. You, you are not uh, downloading it from somewhere or you are not copying it from somewhere. You just want a blank file. So how can you do that? For that we use the touch command. So how does this work? So let's do touch and one dot mp4. You can give any extension for this touch command. It will simply create a blank file with that. So mostly it will be used for creating text files or if, for example, you are going to do a programming and you want to first create an empty file and then you want to go and edit it. In those places, it will be useful. So one dot or you can give any extension one dot mp4. If I give that, then it will create this particular file in the in the directory that I am present now. So I'm in my home directory. So if I do an ls, you can see one dot mp4 a file has been created. And similar to the mkdir command, let me clear the screen. Similar to that command, you can also specify the path to where the file can be created. So for example, I can do touch and I can give the tilde symbol for my home directory, then the test directory and then I can do one dot mp4 and that should create 
the uh, that should create the 1.mp4 file inside the test directory so let's cd into the test directory and by the way cd is the command for the change directory so to change directory from the home directory into the test directory so cd test will take me inside the test directory you can see here tilde slash test that is in my home directory i'm inside the test directory if you uh, and if i do an ls here you can see 1.mp4 is present here that is the touch command so that is for creating a blank file of any format mostly it's used for text files but you can use it for anything who who knows what you want to do so it gives you endless possibilities now let's clear the screen now we are going to see how to copy how to move and how to delete a particular file so now we are inside this test directory let me do an ls here and you can see there is there are two files 1.mp4 and test1 so now i want to copy this 1.mp4 file into this test1 directory so what i will do the command to copy is cp so cp has uh, some flags so the flags that i am more interested are three flags the i flag r flag and v flag so what is the i flag the i flag is to have an interaction for example i have the same file copied in two locations the, the so it should, it would uh, automatically have to overwrite it so it will ask uh, ask me permission if i want to overwrite it or not if i give the i flag if you don't give the i flag it will automatically overwrite it and this may cause a loss in data so first let's without using any flags let's do the cp let's do cp 1.mp4 so in which directory i am if i don't mention a path the file name is just the file that is present in the directory that i am present so cp 1.mp4 means this 1.mp4 and what i'm going to do is i'm copying it to a different location so what is that so in my home directory inside the test directory there is a directory called as test1 so inside that i am going to copy it as it is so enter so it should be copied as 1.mp4 in the test1 directory if you cd into the test1 directory and do an ls you can see that the 1.mp4 is present in that directory now this you you need not specify the file name if you want to use the same file name for example you want to change the file name then what can you do let's uh, cd back so for cd back it's uh, cd dot dot cd command we'll see about the cd command maybe in this video itself so now we are back in the test directory so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to do cp 1.mp4 into this directory in the test1 directory but i want to change the name i want to change the name so i want to not save it as 1.mp4 but as 2.mp4 if i do that and then i cd into test1 and i do an ls can see the same file was copied but the name was changed if you don't change the name it will be copied as it is the same name will be followed in the uh, new directory that you copy but if you want to change the name just specify the name the contents of the file will not change but the name alone will be changed that is the cp file in a gist now what is the i flag for this cp command so let's do that cp and i'll give the i flag then what i'm going to so, so sorry let's uh, cd back so to go back one directory cd space dot dot so that will take me to the previous level so and let's do an ls here we have one dot mp4 so i give cp uh, dash i i'm giving the i flag and then i'm doing one dot mp4 and where am i saving it i'm saving it in my home directory inside the test directory in test one now beware in mind already we have a file called as 1.mp4 in this directory so if i give the i i flag what it will do is it will ask if i want to overwrite or not now i can uh, respond with y r n if i give y it will overwrite it if i give n then it will about the process so if i give y it is going to overwrite the thing so that is the i flag the i flag just interacts with you and tells you that you are about to overwrite this particular file do you really want to do that it's just asking for a confirmation that is the i flag now there is another flag called as v flag so let's do that v flag so let's uh, do it with this uh, same flag with the i flag and the v flag so i added the v flag as well so what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy this and it's asking uh, overwrite because i gave the i flag so let's give yes and you can see here what happened is being 
told 1.mp4 it has been moved to slash home slash jr slash test slash test 1 1.mp4 so this has happened it has been copied and whatever has happened it just gives you a status uh, status or progress whatever it is it just gives you information of what has happened that is the v command now one more flag we are going to see with the cp command that is r flag now what does the r flag do so let's do cp uh, so now uh, sorry let's do an ls let's clear the screen it's very messy let's do an ls now now we have a directory here test one now normally you cannot copy files using the cp command so, sorry copy directories using the cp command you can copy files but you cannot copy directory so if i do cp and if i copy this test one so this is inside this test directory now i just want to copy this and place it in my home directory now if i do that cp says dash r that is the r flag is not specified so it is omitting the directory so whenever you want to copy a directory then you will use the r flag so if i do the same command with the r flag then cp missing destination oh sorry it's missing the destination i just gave the file that has to be copied so if i give my home directory then this test one will be saved in my home directory if i give cd then it will take me to the parent directory the home directory and if i do an ls then here we should have a, a directory called as test one so three flags for the cp command i flag r flag and v flag so that is the cp command now next what we are going to see we are going to see about the mv command now the mv command is similar to the cp command just that it does not copy it moves the files it is like cutting and pasting so it moves the file from one folder to another folder and the flags are all the same so let's move to our directory the test directory let's do an ls so these are the files that we have now i want to move this so how i will do that i'll do mv sorry mv 1.mp4 and where i want to move it in my home directory slash test slash test one so i want to move this here and it moved it there now beware in mind i did not give the i flag so when i give it move it automatically moved and it overrid the file that was already present that's why the i flag is very very important so it asks you a question whether you want to overwrite if you don't use the i flag then it simply does not ask you the question now if i do an ls the 1.mp4 will be missing from here because it has been moved if i cd to test one and i do an ls then you can see 1.mp4 is here this is the 1.mp4 that we moved just now previously what we moved it has been replaced now essentially it's the same file because i am doing this now just for this video but if you are doing it for some other purpose then it is it is very uh, advised very much advised that you use the i flag whenever you are using the cp command or the mv command or the rm flag you no need you can use the i flag it is advised that you use the i flag on all these three command so then if i give mv v uh, flag then what it does it it gives the information what it has done let's do that so let's uh, create another file let's create touch uh, mp4 and let's do an ls now we have a sorry here already an mp4 file is there let's cd back so i gave the command wrong okay let we have now in the we are now in the test directory and let's do an ls now we have only the test one because we moved the one dot mp4 what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a new file one dot mp4 so let's do an ls so we have one dot mp4 now it's not mp4 i just felt like i want to use mp4 i have never used mp4 at the touch command so don't think that i'm just repeatedly using i'm just going to stick with that you can use whatever file extension suits you now let's do the mv with the v flag and the i flag so i for interactive uh, nature then we for verbose or to give you more information what we are going to do is we are going to move the one dot mp4 again to test one so test one so already i don't have to specify the full path because because we are inside test and test one means the test one that is present inside this particular directory and if i give ent uh, enter now it is asking me if i want to overwrite test one one dot mp4 now if i give yes what it is telling is it has renamed one dot mp4 how has it renamed it has renamed one dot mp4 into this particular 
path so essentially the mv command what it does it it renames the file path of the file that you are moving it does not uh, necessarily move it does the same thing but what it does it it renames the file path so that is the information that you get now if you want to move a particular uh, folder or a directory then obviously you have to use the r flag if i simply do mv test 1 and i want to move it into my home directory it will not work because uh, directory not sorry because the directory test one is uh, already present so what we will do we will uh, mv test one let's create another directory mkdir let's create test two sorry let's create that in our home directory so tilde for my home directory and test two now what we will do let's do this let's move this to test Oh, so the thing is for the mv command you don't have to give the r flag it moves it already let's go and check it i didn't know that i thought that i had to use the r command so you learn a lot of things even on live video so let's cd into test 2 let's do an ls and you can see the test 1 directory is present here so to move a directory new information for me as well and for you to move a directory i have not done a directory previously so i didn't know that so now i learned a new thing move a directory you don't have to use the r flag you simply give mv the name of the directory and the path where you want to save it now the same thing for the rm uh, file now rm uh, command i know that it is for remove and if you want to remove a directory you have to give the r command because i have done that a lot so now let's clear the screen let's uh, cd outside let's cd to the test directory let's do an ls whatever is present here nothing is present here because we moved everything so let's do touch mp4 let's create uh, that file then let's uh, create a directory let's call it test 3 okay so now if i do an ls i have two files i have a file and then i have a folder now the rm command is for deleting a particular file the rm file similar to the cp file or the mv file wherever you are it is not necessary that you have to be in the in the path that you want to move or copy things for example i can be in my home directory but i can use the sudo command and i can delete a file that is present in the root directory so here i am in the test directory but if i know the path of the file that i am going to delete i can use it from anywhere in the terminal that that's what makes the terminal really really good similarly for the rm command to remove it i can remove a file that is present in this file for in this uh, directory for example that is 1.mp4 if i simply do rm 1.mp4 1.mp4 will be gone i do an ls 1.mp4 is not there let's create it again so now if i do an ls now 1.mp4 will be there now i don't necessarily have to be in this directory i can be in my home directory so now i'm in my home directory so slash home slash jr i'm in my home directory and what i can do i can do rm and i can give test sorry test slash 1.mp4 and that should that delete the 1.mp4 that is found inside the test directory if i go to the uh, cd into the test directory i do an ls 1.mp4 is not there so you can uh, access it from various places now let's see if the v flag works for the rm file let's create back touch the 1.mp4 let's do rm v let's do i and v so let's do i for interactive and then let's do v and 1.mp4 so it's asking a regular empty file 1.mp4 so this is the i flag so it interacts with me whether it's asking a confirmation whether i want to uh, necessarily delete this file or not so i give y and what it does it gives me information that is the v flag removed one dot mp4 so the same flags work everywhere now if i want to delete a directory i definitely know that i need to give the r command so let's do clear and let's do an ls to be sure we just have the directory test 3 so if i do rm test 3 it will not work because it is a directory so how we, can you make it work rm dash r give the r flag and then test 3 now the test 3 will be removed that is that is how the rm works now be very careful with the rm uh, command there are some uh, malicious scripts out there that use this command rm dash rf and slash what does this mean 
remove directory which directory f for forcibly remove and slash your uh, root directory so remove your root directory now what will happen if you remove your root directory your root directory is what has all your uh, system operating system everything you do that your system will crash so whenever you are going through any scripts any aur scripts or any script that you are running be very careful that you don't uh, find this particular command now if i give enter it will not work because i am not a root user it is dangerous to operate recursively or snatch use dash dash no preserve root to override this fail safe so normally they have this fail safe because people are known to exploit uh, this very dangerous command on the on the root directory and make your system completely obsolete you have to reinstall your operating system and i have done this in my computer after taking a lot of backup so if you want to take this adventure take uh, precautions before that take some backup of your file and then you can do the experiment now that is the rm command so let's learn a little bit about the cd command we played with that in this uh, video a lot so cd is change directory so cd if i simply give cd it will take me back to the directory where i started so when i log in i logged into my home user slash home slash jr so what it will do it will take me to that particular directory if i do pwd that will show me the path the directory that i am present at now so i logged in as slash home slash jr so if i give cd it will take me there if i log in as root then it will take me back to the root folder so that is the cd command now to go forward you just do cd and the name of the uh, directory that you want to move forward to so if i want to move to desktop there is a folder called desktop but mostly it will be empty so there's nothing you can move forward so that's what i've been doing in this video so we cd it into the test directory so like that you can go forward so now you can also move into the root directories for example i am in uh, slash test so i can mention the path of the directory that i want to move to so cd slash user slash share slash application so now i'm in the root directory and i have this uh, lock symbol here uh, mentioning that you cannot do anything here uh, unless you have sudo privileges so if i do an ls it will have all my dot desktop files here so now let's uh, clear the screen and if you want to go back one step so i'm in slash user slash share slash applications now if i want to move back just one step i want to go to slash user slash share i don't want to be in applications i want to move one step backwards how do you do that cd dot dot enter you are in slash user slash share again you do cd dot dot you move back another directory so this is how the cd command works how you can move one directory backwards now what if you want to move two steps backward let's uh, cd again into uh, share applications and let's see if there are any other uh, directories inside i think there will be a directory no there are no directories inside okay so doesn't matter let's be here let's clear the screen now we are in slash user slash share slash applications now what i want to do is i want to go back two places i want to go directly to slash user i want to skip going back to slash share so directly i want to go to slash user so what i will do cd dot dot to go back one step then slash another dot dot to go back another step so one step and another step two steps enter i am in slash user now you can uh, just go on increasing this so cd uh let's uh, cd into again into slash user slash share slash applications and if i want to move back three steps what what should i do i have to give this command three times okay let's clear the screen i made a little mess there so cd dot dot one step again slash dot dot two steps slash dot dot three steps i'm in the root directory so this is how we will move back you can give four five times etc so what typically what we will do is we will alias the cd uh, this commands into something simpler for example we will have dot one or one dot something like that you can be creative with your aliases we cannot be continuously typing this dot dot slash dot dot slash dot dot slash that's all too much work so you can alias it to something 
else so that's it about the cd command and that's it for this video this was a fun video i did not do a lot of preparation i learned a lot in this video and i hope that you learned a lot in this video as well if you like my content press the like button if you think that this video will be useful for somebody else you can share this video you can comment what you like what you didn't like how i can improve the content and most importantly don't forget to subscribe to this channel and one more thing i am also available on odyssey.com it's a free and open source alternative to youtube i would rather like like all my uh, viewers to view me on odyssey rather than on youtube and i'm on youtube because there are a lot of people the audience is high in youtube that's why i'm on youtube but typically i like my uh, viewers to view my content on odyssey that is much better for the creator that's much better for the consumer as well so that's it for this video thank you for watching do join me in my next video thank you have a nice day